What is going on guys? Welcome to 60 second Ruby tutorial. This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Now, in previous two tutorials, we saw how to get the time and date value. Now, initially, we saw three classes, time class, date class and date time class. And we discussed only time class till now. So, it's time now to discuss date class and date time class. Now, this date time class is actually the subclass of this date class. Now, this date class actually gives only year value, month value and date value. It don't gives us the time value and also do not gives us the time zone. But this date time class is actually acting similar to this time class and it also gives year, month, date, hour, minute, second and also the time zone in which you are located. Now, and one more difference is there guys in order to write the program using the date class or date time class you have to require a ruby file that is let's say date yeah now when you write require date it includes a date dot rb file which is a predefined file which comes with your ruby library now let's move forward d equal to date sorry date dot new yeah then let's write two zero zero four right let's write month nine twenty seven now let's write put s d right now let's save it and execute it sorry yeah we get the output 2004 year 9 September sorry this 9 stands for September and this 27 is the date now what if if you remove all these things all these stuffs now when you initialize an object of this time class then in that case you get the current time value but let's check whether this date dot new gives us the current date or not let's save it yeah nope we don't get the current date value it just initialize a date object with a garbage value so it didn't work now let's write instead of new parse write 2001-02-03 like this now let's print it let's see what's the output yeah it actually parse the data between the inverted apostrophes so we get the value 2001 0, 02 and 0, 03 like this it actually initializes a date object with this date value now let us try something different d dot let's try i think time dot new let's say 2003 like this dot 2 underscore date now what this 2 underscore date is will do that it will convert this time object into the date object and store it in this date object d like this now let's check it out yeah we are correct we are getting a date value here right now let's write d dot year right executed 2003 d dot month executed yeah put as d let's write d equal to d plus one let's save it and execute it yeah in the case of date class when we add one to it it increments the date value by one that is 3rd february 2003 becomes 4th february 2003 but in case of time if you increment time object by one it will increment its seconds by one it won't increase the date this whole statement actually represents the date let's change it to prevent any confusion yeah this is actually what the date right now you can parse the date also like this parse if you write like this let's say 3rd Feb 2001 let's save it now execute it then also it is going to print the value it is also going to parse this value 3rd Feb 2001 like this now let's try this date time class it is actually similar to this time class so we can use a syntax like this let's erase it all let's write dt equal to what 
comma like this now let's print it let's save it and execute it yeah we get the output like this till here it is having it is showing the date after this it is showing the time till here then after that it is showing what it is showing the time zone now pretty easy guys i'm not going to discuss date time in detail because i have discussed the time class in detail in the previous tutorial so that will solve your problem in case you are trying to use the time class so this is all for this tutorial guys catch you guys in next tutorial please share my video and please subscribe to my channel this is tricks from smarthood signing off